Вопрос был прислан Олегом. Ксения Евгеньевна, очень волнует вопрос защиты собственных прав. Мастер Ксения, the issue of protecting one's own rights is of great concern to me. You once mentioned an ancient rule for a warrior mage stating that if anything threatens you or your closed ones, then it should be destroyed. Thereby discussions on this subject bring a warrior down to the level that is lower than that of the merchant who offended him, and I completely agree with that. Nonetheless, in our forum, many write that if your rights are being infringed, It means that there's something wrong with you and you should look for the reason within yourself. Is there a contradiction? Actually, there is no contradiction at all if we understand that both points of view not only have a right to exist, but do exist simultaneously. This is how a magical mindset works, when we don't just see a solution from one perspective only, but try to dissect it in its entirety, taking absolutely everything into consideration. Both viewpoints are correct. A warrior who perceives himself as one, and this is an absolutely individual characteristic, must possess in his behavioral arsenal all the possibilities of how to defend his own rights, regardless of whether there are any reasons for them being attacked either internal, not internal, external, or whatever these reasons could be. If there is a fact that the rights are being violated, then one must fight, must confront it. And while you're fighting and protecting your rights, the reasons don't matter. The degree of your guilt, the degree of your innocence, the potential of your resources or inabilities, all of them are unimportant. If me or my family are being attacked and our rights are being violated, then you need to fight and not contemplate. And this is how the warrior sees the system. At the same time, there is also an inner magical outlook that functions simultaneously within the consciousness and tries to figure out the reason why exactly the situation turned out in a way that my rights are being violated. Did I give a reason for this to happen? Am I being provoked by the system? Meaning that an inner analytical work is in progress at the same time while I am defending my rights, and the one does not replace the other. And if those two processes occur simultaneously, then we can talk not only about warrior-like virtue and honor, but also about an inner magical growth. Because a warrior must defend his family, and the mage must evolve his consciousness and, of course, help those around him to correct their mistakes now and not later, when it is already impossible to do so. And to correct them, first of all, through inner analysis. And the answers to those questions, as what actually became the reason for such violation, for such provocation, was it my own mistake or a test of my endurance? In this scenario, it would make a warrior even stronger and tougher. Therefore, one thing does not exclude the other in any way. Learn to look at things from different angles at the same time. And this is when the opposite point of view that you're hearing will never appear as being antagonistic, but rather as something to consider. Or in other words, it will become a reason, a catalyst that makes your inner world significantly richer. The one who contradicts you is not your enemy, but rather a trickster. And a trickster is a very useful figure, especially if within you, as within a mage, the quality of being easily offended is no longer present. For a warrior, this touchiness, as long as it is a tool that can be controlled, could be very useful. For a mage, it is harmful especially if those qualities gain control of his own consciousness. Because there is nothing worse than taking action based on some barely perceivable astral reactions. I hope, colleague, that I answered your question.